No, no, you cannot leave like this. We have to talk. Well, that there is nothing else to discuss. Now get out of my way. No, not until you come to your senses and talk to me. Don't you dare walk away from me, young lady. Cassie, please talk to me. Oh, yeah. Somebody help us. Wait, Cassie, come on. Please. I'm a doctor. For heaven's sake, what happened? Ed, is she all right? She's unconscious. Will somebody get a claw up with some ammonia? Oh, Joey, oh, darling, go in the kitchen and get the ammonia. Jason, would you find Larry Wallach? I think he's in the solarium. Yes, please, please, Cassie, open your eyes, please. Oh, my poor baby. Poor baby, now what about when you pushed her down the stairs, Dorian? I didn't push her. Go away, you are done. I'm not. Go away. Please, Cassie, please talk to me. Thank you, Luna Moody, for another eye-opening night on The Love Line. And thanks to all our WVL listeners for tuning in. Hey, hey, did Todd tell you where he was going? No, pal, relax, okay? Todd can take care of himself. Yeah, wait, wait, he was really ragging about making Marty and well, Luna pay. Look, he thinks Marty put Luna up to bad-mouthing us on her stupid radio show. You know, he's probably right. You heard that garbage. What is Todd going to do? He'll probably get drunk, break a few things, and then get over it, what okay? What if he doesn't get over it, Zach? He will. Nobody's will you relax? You want a beer? Come on, I'll buy you a beer. Hey, honey? Can we... Look, look, I'm sorry. It's just, he gets out of control every now and then. He thinks he can just push anyone he wow. wants. Wow, calm down, okay? Todd is not stupid, all right? He's not going to do anything to jeopardize our case. Trust me. Why don't you stay here and relax? And I'll go get us some of that southern takeout you like so much. Nothing like cold fried chicken by the pool on a hot summer night. That sounds terrific. Something wrong? No. No, I don't think so. The neighbor's cat was creeping about in the bushes. It just spooked me for a minute. Uh, maybe you should go and get the food with me. No, I'm fine. Really, you go ahead. You sure? Mm hmm I'm a big girl. I can handle a little footy tat. Besides, I'm through being the helpless, scared victim, remember? Big, bad Marty. That's right. Now you get going. And uh, don't forget the corn on the cob. Yes, ma'am. Uh, but I'm warning you, you can't rush Southerners. It might take a while. Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. Good. Uh, I'll lock the gate on the way out. Take it easy. Cassie. Come on, Cassie, talk to me. 
Cass. Come on now, wake up. Wake up, please. Cass. I'm here. I'm here, sweetheart. I'm here, I love you, all right? She fell down. I, 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 don't, I don't know how it happened, but she's pregnant. Uh, Joey, here. Um, get my medical kit. It's in the car. Thank you. She Cassie? just came to. She just came to, Larry. Okay, how long has she been in the car? A minute, maybe less. Cassie? Hi, how you feeling? I fell. Okay, honey, I heard about that. Did, did you hit your head? I don't know. Okay. All right. I scared with my, my mother. Like, I think I tripped. All right. Are you in any pain? No. Cassie, can you move your arm here? Slowly. Yeah, uh, yeah. Can you move it? Okay, all right, that's enough. How about your legs? Can you move your legs? Uh, okay, that's good. Do you have any pain in your back? No. How about your neck? No, can I get up though? This all right, is very easy. fast. Yeah, yeah, fine. Let's get uh, someplace high that maybe we can. Uh, can take is something easy. wrong? Thank you, thank you. Thank is something wrong, Larry? You know, honey, we're just being safe. Put your arm around me. Is, is it my baby? Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Nothing's going to happen to my baby. Stop. We're going to check you out first. Come on, honey. It's all right. It's okay. It's all right. Fine. I just saw it. Okay. Oh, thanks, Joey. Great. Be careful. Dorian, just leave us alone. Stay downstairs. You think she's going to be okay? Oh, yeah. Once she stood up, uh, her color returned. She seems fine. Poor Cassie. Her mother tripped her? Apparently. Yeah, well, leave it to Dorian to screw things up. Jason, do what you can to keep Dorian away from Cassie. I know she's been drinking, but do what you can. Yeah, well, I'll try. Arthur, is everything all right, son? Oh. <laughs> Yes, I think things have finally straightened out. I'm sorry for the disruption. Oh, don't be silly. Oh, it's quite a party. I mean, it's not that often one gets to be in the front row of such high drama. Yes, yes. Uh, will you excuse me? I'd like no. to speak to some of the other of guests. <laughs> now, Dorian Lord certainly has a flair for the theatrical, doesn't she? Mm -hmm, she certainly does. <laughs> the tabloids are going to have a field day with this one. I hate to say it, but the gossip will be good for book sales. True. True. Except, oh, I feel so sorry for poor Cassie. I mean, she could have been killed. <laughs> the Black Widow strikes again. <laughs> I don't care what they're saying in there. I'm not leaving. Listen to me. Nobody wants you here. You have screwed things up enough. Let's get out of here before you make it worse. Thank you so much for your unwavering support. Excuse me. I'm going to go see my daughter. Come on, Dorian. Don't be stupid. You're going to regret this. Listen to Jason. Please. He is absolutely right. Vicki, if it isn't too much trouble, would you mind your own business? You are not going upstairs. My daughter needs me. She needs you to leave. Really, Dorian. Haven't you done enough damage for one evening? I think men and women should share household chores. Can we get out of here now? Jason, would you be a dear and give me a few moments alone with Vicky? Fine. You know what? I give up. And Vicky, I am sorry about what happened here well, tonight. There's no need for you to apologize, Jason. No one is responsible for what Dorian does except Dorian. Oh, yeah. I know. How dare you suggest that what happened here tonight is my fault? I love my daughter. I would never dream of harming her. Then do what is best, Dorian, and leave right now. Oh, of course. I forgot. Vicky always knows what's best. Vicky knows everything. For heaven's sakes, will you open your eyes? Cassie fell trying to get away from you. She was embarrassed and ashamed of the way you were carrying on. Carrying on? You mean defending my honor. And that's what's eating you, isn't it? That I showed up here to defend myself. We're talking about Instead Cassie. of staying home alone, giving you the chance to drag my name through the mud. You and your boyfriend, so if you're looking for somebody to blame, go find him. Better yet, take a good look in the mirror at yourself. Because you are to blame for this also. I'm to blame? Yes! I asked you. you. I begged you. Practically on my hands and knees, I said, please, stop the publication of this hideous pile of filth, which is saying that I may have caused Victor's death. But no, what do you do? You give this party instead for Sloan. I mean, why else would you do it except to publicly humiliate me and to watch me suffer? It's not true. You know it's it not is true. so true. 
true. So, I hope you're happy now. Kathy may lose her baby. And it's on your conscience. You are outrageous! How dare you stand here in my father's house and talk to me about conscience? What about yours? Okay, look, look at my ear. That's it. All right, okay, everything's fine. <laughs> I guess your husband's feeling better about that, too. Yeah, he does worry, but what about the baby? Well, as far as I can tell, the, the baby's fine. Oh, thank God, As thank far God. as you can tell? Cassie, who's your obstetrician? Dr. Fraser. Wonderful. She is absolutely excellent. But you're going to have to call her and tell her what happened. I'm pretty sure she's going to want to see you. Larry, be honest. What is wrong? Nothing's wrong. All right, your blood pressure's a little elevated, but considering what you went through, that's that's normal. Yeah, but Larry, I know I fell on my stomach. What if something's wrong? What if I stop Cassie, bleeding? Cassie, Cassie, okay. the baby's fine. There's absolutely nothing to worry about, as far as I can tell. And I'm going to prove it to you. You guys wait right here. I'll be right back. Okay, nobody's going anywhere. Okay. Everything's fine. I drive was so scared. I understand. When, when, when I called to you and you couldn't hear me and you were so pale, but Larry says everything's okay. Come in. Hi, you too. Hey. Uh, Larry told me the good news. I'm relieved. Hey, that makes three of us. It's okay. I'm sorry. I feel responsible. Oh, it's not your fault. Please don't feel that way. Well, it was my book that uh, caused all this hysteria. It's... I don't blame you. I just wish that whatever my mother did or didn't do could have been left buried. Oh, Vicky, you are so predictable. Do you know that? No matter what I say, you always have some way of bringing up those old, nasty, vicious rumors that I am a murderer. I'm not going to discuss this with you right now, because it's not going to do either one of us any good, and it certainly isn't helping Cassie any. Show yourself out, please. And do yourself a favor and learn a lesson from your mistake tonight. Leave Cassie in peace. Good night. Calm down, okay? You act like such a little girl sometimes, man. I know Todd better than anyone, right? I guess. Well, I've seen him get weird like this, and he will get over it. What is his problem? Well, I think that he goes a little ballistic when Marty and Luna and all those bra burners start trashing us on the radio, don't you? Maybe we deserve it. Would you lighten up? Look, don't you even worry a little bit. We still have another trial to get through. So what? Hank Gannon doesn't have any more evidence against us this time than he did last time. He's golden, huh? Ah. Huh. Hi, Elmer. You're back so soon, huh? Uh, it's hot out there. Oh, I know. I bet you're hungry, huh? Yeah, I'm, uh... I'm real thirsty, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'm going to get you a nice uh, sandwich, and I'll get you some tea, okay? Okay, Wanda. Okay. Tea's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I got you a present. Oh, you did it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Keep forgetting where I put it, though. Well. Oh, no, it's in here. One second. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Here it is. Oh, oh, that isn't that lovely. That is so beautiful. Can you believe Thank it? Thank you very much. I found it in Crawford Park. You did? Oh, mm -hmm. my goodness. And you thought of me? Oh. I didn't know that this could be any more evidence. Al, you worry too much. 
okay? What happened with Marty it was no big deal. We had it beat once, and we'll do it again. Not if Todd does something stupid. Well, then we stick together, and we make sure that he doesn't. Okay? Come on, relax. Once again, I've overestimated you. I thought you'd have the good sense to go home long ago. How is she? Cassie is fine. The baby is fine. Oh, thank God. You're not going up there. Who says? Cassie. She's made it perfectly clear she doesn't want you anywhere near her. But I'm her mother. All right. You learn the hard way. I hate to interrupt, but may I come in? No, you may not. I have to talk to Cassie for just a few minutes, please. Don't make me leave. You give me one reason why I shouldn't. Because I love her. Do you have any idea the scare you put into us? I thought I was going to lose my wife. I thought I was going to lose my baby. And I'm very, very sorry about the accident, really. Just please allow me to make amends. You're a minister. Surely you believe in forgiveness, don't you? Dorian, it's not up to me to forgive you. That's up to Cassie. Let her decide for herself. Hi, honey. Well, you certainly look better now. The color's back in your cheeks and everything. You sure gave all of us a scare. I'll tell you that. Honey, I'm so glad that nothing happened to you or to your, your little baby. Honey, I love you. And your love means more to me than anything else in the whole world. Please, Cassie, tell me what can I do. I'll do anything to win back your love, your respect. Darling. Please take my mother out of here. Dorian, you have to go now. No, I don't want to leave. She's Dorian. Get her out of here. Okay, sweetie. It's all right. Andrew. Okay. Please leave. Cassie. She tried to kill my baby. She almost killed me. Dorian. Sloth said she didn't need to kill her husband, Andrew. It's all right. Get, her, okay. get away from me. Leave. Get away from my baby. Leave. It's okay. She's going, okay? She's going. She's going. She's going. It's all right. She's going. Yeah, um, give me a second. 
I'll be right there. Hold on. I didn't know you guys were flying. Hold on. Taking a drive? No, we were just over at Land Fair. Yeah, they had a publishing party over there. And you're done already? Well, they uh, ended a little earlier than they planned. Oh? Yeah. You got a nice setup back here. Yeah. And I gotta tell you, the water looks very inviting. Well, it feels wonderful. You two want to take a dip? Well, you know, it sort of looks like you already have company. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's sweet. You want to get some eat. No. But, uh, what do you say? Can you take one night and relax, Mr. District Attorney? <laughs> Hank, relax. Impossible. He's like that little battery rabbit. He just keeps going and going. <laughs> Wait, now, just hold on. I can going. relax anytime I want oh, to, really? right? <clears throat> but I tell you what, you got yourself a deal. You have a spare suit I can borrow? Oh, now you're talking. Yeah. yeah, help yourself. There's plenty of them in the cabana. <clears throat> How about you, Sheila? Ah, uh, no thanks. I think I'll just take in the sights. <laughs> Go ahead, honey. It's <laughs> a deal. What's the first thing you should know about brushing your teeth? Come on, Sheila. Baby, put your money where your mouth is. Go for a swim with me, all right? Quit stalling. All right. Are you back? Hey, wait. I was wondering whose car that was parked up front. Yeah, they just got here. Great. Oh, right in time for some down-home cooking. I got some fried chicken and mashed potatoes, corn on the cob, and all the fixings. <laughs> well, what, you, what brings you over here? Uh, we were just on our way home from a party at the Buchanan's. Yeah, so we'll pass on the food. Thank you very much. <laughs> you know, on the way here, we were listening to Luna's Loveline show. Did you guys catch it? Wasn't she great? She sure was. Gosh, I hope my counselees will listen. You know, Luna and I are taking this extra time because of the mistrial. To make sure that everyone understands what rape really means. And it's time I fought back. That's great. I'm so impressed. What do you think, Hank? Well, so my advice would be don't overdo it. Too much publicity could cause a problem in court somewhere down the line. But I think it's great you're fighting back. Well, what do you think our chances are next time around? Better than the first. But we all basically know what, what to expect. And you've got a pretty good idea of what to say and what not to say on the stand, right? Yes, I think so. Then we just go in there and we nail those bad boys to the wall. Yes. Sounds good to me. Yeah. And I <sighs> will take particular pleasure in seeing Todd Manning being led away in handcuffs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very sick. Honey, I think we should uh, get a move on. Uh, we don't want to interrupt Marty. All right, this all way right. The evening, dear. Uh, listen, Marty, what do you say we take a rain check on that swim? Let's stick yeah. around. We got plenty of food. No, honey, it's okay. You enjoy. Good night. Hasta luego. Good night. Good night. What do you say? Should we dig in? You mind if we take this inside? We're gonna get eaten alive out here. You're right. Bless you. And thank you. Thank you very much for my my beautiful bracelet. Beautiful. Thank you. And also in here, I put a large iced tea because we don't want you to get dehydrated. No beer, huh? No beer. <laughs> <laughs> Hell right you are. <laughs> I'm headed back to the campus okay. now. Harding is such sweet. Harding is such sweet, 
parting is such sweet sorrow. Uh, sorrow, that's uh, very uh, good. Uh, good. Look, let's look how you remember the poetry that I taught you. Uh, that's very good. That's right. Parting, parting is such sweet, sweet sorrow. sorrow. Uh, hey, what did you want? Where are you going? You're always in my face. Every right, time so I turn around. If it's not here, it's it's over at the KAD house. Look, I don't understand why you let this guy hey, in hey. here. He hasn't bathed in ten years. Hey, that's enough, kid. That's enough. Yeah, well, look, I'll tell you what, you old dirtbag. Why don't you clean up your stuff and get away? Hey. What have you guys been up to? Well, besides searching for that sweat band night and day. What sweat band? Like the one from the rave? Yeah, didn't Marty tell you? No, she didn't tell me anything. I was in Philly till this afternoon. What's up with Marty? Well, a few of us have teamed together and we're looking for that sweat band. Yeah, it was Marty's idea. She seems to think that it could be the evidence she needs to win the next trial. Swade's in on it, too. He and I have been asking a lot of people the last few days. There's this, there's this homeless guy. His name's Elmer. Uh-huh. Oh, wait a minute. I know this guy. He, uh, he hangs out in Wanda sometimes. Right, time. right, yeah. He also sleeps in the basement of the KAD house. He cleans up a little. Uh-huh. Well, we figured maybe he had seen this sweatband around, you know, in the woods or something. That's where he looks for junk. <laughs> He's quite a pack rat. It's him in that knapsack. Yeah. Did you ask him? Yeah, it didn't pan out. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess that's a dead end. Did you think about talking to, I don't know, garbage collectors? Yeah, we did, but... Nobody's seen it so far. I guess it's a needle in a haystack, huh? You got it. Wait, we aren't going to give up, though. I mean, this is the first time that Marty's, I don't know, felt like she's taken control of her life since the rape. Yeah, well, is there anything that I can do? Because... Oh, absolutely. Well, you name it, I'm there. Well, there's still a lot of people we've got to check with. Okay. Well, I don't know. You sure you have time? Yeah, I got lunch time. What do you mean? Well, don't take this the wrong way. I mean, it's, it's none of my business, but uh, don't you have your hands full? Dorian. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry she ruined your mom's party. Well, that's no big deal. It's quite a scene, though. Yeah. Jason, it definitely wasn't your No, fault. no, she's a real piece of work. Jason, honey, I need to talk to you for a few minutes. You got anything good to eat around here? I guess I should have known that something like this was going to happen tonight. Well, are you sorry you threw the party? No, not at all. Now I know, however, that next time I will have to hire watchdogs, security guards. Oh, come on, give us a smile. We do have reason to be thankful, Cassie, the baby, fine. I'd never forgive myself if they weren't. Forgive yourself for what? For writing your father's biography the way I did. I mean, how could I be so short-sighted not to see what would happen? You wrote the truth. And look at the consequences. Everyone I love, you, Andrew, Cassie, you've all been torn apart. Darling, we have survived, and we can move on. Do you really think it's over? Yes. Just exactly the two people I'm looking for. Ah. And what can we do for you? Well, first, I'd like to offer my sincere thanks to our most gracious hostess, and my congratulations to the critically acclaimed author. Oh, come on. Well, you are most entirely welcome, and I do hope you have managed to enjoy yourself. Absolutely. Vicky, don't believe him for a minute. He's never nice unless he wants something. <laughs> Let's hear it. Well, I know how much you hate doing them, but I have set up some more publicity interviews for him. When? Over the course of the next few days. You know, it's a long time since I've found so much interest in a biography of anybody but a movie star. Really? In fact, I'd go so far as to bet that if we can just maximize all our promotional opportunities, we could have a major success on our hands. What accounts for this sudden surge of interest? You wrote a gripping book. Arthur Lovell with me. Oh, true. In biographies of this kind, the one thing that really makes them take off is a certain element of, well, 
scandal, something for the publicity people to use to hook readers in. I hope you'll pardon me for saying this, Vicky, but your father did have what some people would call a dark side, and that's a hook. Well, no thank you. No more interviews of this nature. Uh, it's not fair to Victor Lord or his family. But it's part of the game. Everybody does it, not I. No more interviews like that. Are you sure? I'm positive. Anyway, I'm not going to be free the next few days. I'm going to be far away from Landview with the woman I love, if she'll agree. Jason, please. We'll leave you two alone. Bye, Jason. Yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Well, I think this has been the worst night of my entire life. Cassie called me a murderer just now. Of course, I know she's hysterical, but still. She won't forgive me. She won't even talk to me. What do you expect me to do? Show some sympathy. Well, what do you expect, Dorian? If I was Cassie, I wouldn't forgive you either. I wouldn't be surprised if she never forgives you. But it's all so unfair. Why? You got exactly what you deserved. I warned you. You came to this party tonight looking for trouble. And you know what? You got your wish. You barged in here. You threw a drink in Sloane's face. You threw yourself on... You pulled your own daughter down the stairs, no. Dorian. What the hell is wrong with I you? I didn't. I didn't mean to hurt her. Well, you did. And what did I say when you said you wanted to come here tonight? Huh? I said, don't go. You're gonna make matters worse between you and Cassie. But did you listen to me? No, of course you didn't listen to me. I can't believe you're taking this I told you so attitude. I'm insane here. Well, you could listen to me just once. You could listen. But all I can hear is criticism. Criticism. And is this the way you act when I'm at the lowest point in my life? Oh, please, Dorian. You will sink lower. Don't worry. How can you be so cruel? I just call him like I see him. I think the problem is that I am sick of comforting you every time you come home from screwing up your own life. Uh, let's not fight. Come on, baby, let's go. Why, Dorian? Because you're wonderful and you're misunderstood and people rag on you all the time? I think it's sad. Here. Why don't you get yourself home and find another chauffeur? to be such a jerk with Elmer, Zach. Oh, what did he ever please. do to you? So, oh, come on, man. What, am I supposed to feel sorry because some drunk decides to waste his life away and then expect everybody to cater to him? I, I, I can't believe this. You are starting to sound like Todd. Oh, and who are you supposed to be, Mother Teresa? What, are you, you, you gonna go around saving every poor, feeble soul in Wayne you now, pal? Uh, I'm out of here. I'll see you around. Fine, pal. Hey, let me help you here. No, get away. No, it's all right. I, I'm just gonna give you a little hand, okay? All right. the blood pressure is still a little elevated, but it's nothing to worry about. I do want you to report that to Dr. Frazier when we talk to her tomorrow. All right. Now, she's going to want to monitor you. Cassie, the best thing right now is to avoid stress as much as possible over the next few months. Well, Any I... Any kind of high blood pressure, uh, it's, it's going to complicate the pregnancy. Well, I think I eliminated the main source of my stress. Good. Now, enough about that. I went down in the car to get this. Andrew, why don't you just sit down here, and I want you to hold this. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. 
hold that. That's your baby's heartbeat. you come under any stress, none at all. Well, I meant what I said before. I don't ever want to see my mother again. You keep her away from me. I can't tell you how excited I am. Well, I just can't wait to show you my home in Tidewater. I've been waiting for months. We can go crabbing, we can go swimming on the beach, we can go riding, or we can just swing on the porch and watch the sunset. Oh, boy, does that sound great, just to get away from here. Yes. No publishers, no interviews, no rumors. No Dorian? No Dorian, just us. I know so much about your life, I can't wait to show you mine. Oh, I would love that. I want to know everything that there is to know about you. Mm. <laughs> Quit. Getting away sounds more inviting every second. Mm -hmm. Going away somewhere, hmm? Excuse us for not telling you where. Wipe that stupid, happy grin off your face, Sloan. Really, you two don't deserve to be so happy. You've ruined my life tonight. I have lost everything that I love. And if you think that I am going to forget that, you're mistaken. Because I won't. Not ever. Mm, was that fried chicken good or what? Even better than the last time. I'll see you tomorrow. Count on it. Uh, you know, I think we should do this again sometime. I think we should do this again all the time. No argument here. Thanks for being here tonight. There's nowhere else I'd rather be. Well, I guess I better get going. I guess. Oh, uh, by the way, did I tell you how beautiful you looked in that swimsuit tonight? <laughs> Let me think. There was once outside, twice during dinner. Okay, okay, just making sure. I didn't say I minded. Right. Well, I guess I'm gonna take off. Well, uh, just, uh, I know what you're going through. You do? I wish I could kiss you goodnight, too. Uh, did it seem like I was pushing? I, I didn't mean it to, you know. I can wait, honestly. Like I told you, I'm a patient man. And uh, one day, we won't have to say goodnight. We'll be able to kiss all the way till sunrise. You know... What? I think I actually believe that time just might come. It will, Marty. I promise. The worst is over. And the best is on its way.
Yeah. <clears throat> I guess that's everything. And again, uh, I'm really sorry about my friend. Yeah. Yeah. Where have you been? What do you care? I thought you didn't like me anymore, pal. Uh, just the way you tore out of here. I thought you might... Might? Might what? Nothing. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go home. Night. Sweet dreams. Hey, what's up, son? Hey, where are you going, man? We got beers to drink. Yeah, well, I'd love to, but we both gotta get up early tomorrow, you know? What for? to find a new lawyer, or did you forget there's going to be another trial? Maybe not. Todd, Marty isn't going to just drop the charges, and Hank Gannon isn't going to forget about it, so I don't understand what you're talking about. Well, let's just say, hypothetically, maybe Marty decided, I don't know, maybe somebody persuaded her, and it wasn't such a good idea for her to testify. Hank Gannon wouldn't have much of a case then, would he? Thank you. 